Mortal Kombat 1 is the first game in 12 years to have Shang Tsung playable by default, but it gets even better because many pro players consider Shang Tsung a top 5 character, likely because he can combo from any distance for great damage and has very annoying keep away. But today, I want to see for myself how powerful Shang Tsung is, so without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, here we go, time to learn Shang Tsung. I am excited! It's gonna take a while though, because Shang Tsung has two different sets of attack strings and two different sets of special moves. So I hope you brought a snack and some beverages. First up, we have the Quick Age Morph. This thing is so cool. This might be the most overpowered thing in Mortal Kombat because you can change in the middle of an attack. Or in other words, there's zero risk to shapeshifting. You can do it mid-attack string and even on block, you're still gonna be safe as long as the move itself is not punishable, which I just think is really cool. And these moves must be universal because below this we have Young Form and then we have Old Form. So yeah, those first three specials must be universal. First up we have Form Stealer. Oh wow! I don't even have to be close to the opponent. I can do this at full screen, really? I don't think Shang Tsung's ever been able to do that, at least not in the Netherrealm games, that's for sure. And then we have the amplified version, and Shang Tsung gets increased damage while morphed. Oh, that's not default anymore? I just turn into them? I guess that could be useful if you're just now trying Shang Tsung, but you know the opponent's character better. But sadly, if you want the extra damage, then you have to spin the bar. I actually do know Reptile. Oh, 38% with no cameo and no meter spent. Reptile already hits kind of hard, but with Shang Tsung, he's like top 5 damage. But alright, next up we have Perfect Form. What is this? What is Perfect Form? Does it cost two bars or something? One second, I get lost in this move list sometimes. I'm still used to the original. Oh, this changes you back into Shang Tsung. Okay, well I'm curious about one thing then. Does it have an animation to it or is it like instant? It's pretty instant. Can I do this stuff mid-string? Uh, kind of. Alright, now it's finally time for the Young Form special moves. First up, we have the Straight Skull. This is iconic. Alright, this right here is iconic. If you spend a bar, it becomes a mid. And also, look at the angle. It kind of covers the jumping area. You can't even jump over the amplified version. So already, that's pretty cool. But you can also do it in the air. And look at that trajectory. Kind of weird. <laughs> it goes straight in front of you. Not downward, which would be ideal. But it's still good for controlling space in the air. And then the amplified version still sends out two skulls. But one of them is like really high. You can barely see it. But yeah, it's two skulls, which means more damage. Then we have a double skull. Are you kidding me? I get two skulls, but no extra meter. Okay, that's just a thing. And then if I spend a bar, once again, more damage and two fireballs right away that cover that jumping zone area. And then finally, we have triple skull. All right, Netherrealm's just being kind of silly out here. I understand having one skull and three skulls as an option, but the two skull option is just so funny. Your opponent has no idea how many you're going to fire, which means don't jump against Shang Tsung. Okay, just don't do it. But there's no way to know how many fireballs are coming, so just walk forward and crouch under the fireballs. Unless he spins the bar, in which case it hits mid, and you can't duck under the first one. And keep in mind, if one of these hits, I'm pretty sure your character gets stood up, which means the following skulls also hit you. So yeah, just don't jump on Shang Tsung. I'm pretty sure every one of these fireballs is unsafe on block. Oh yeah, they're all really bad, but the more fireballs you fire, the more negative you are. That being said, from even like here away, they can't punish it at all. But okay, more special moves, and now we have spinning spikes. Finally, no more fireballs. What's this move like? Yeah, I love this string. I'm so happy that Shang Tsung has a claw gimmick in this game. I think it makes him stand out from past Shang Tsung's, and the amplified version just does more damage, it looks like, and knocks them away, and I bet it has armor. But thankfully, I don't have to guess. The game tells me in the notes that yes, it does have armor. Next up, we have Bed of Spikes. This, to me, is the weirdest move Shang Tsung has. I get that he's an alchemist and can therefore create something out of nothing, pretty much. However, even so, the idea that Shang Tsung is just a metal bender to an extent is so funny to me. This hits low and staggers the opponent, by the way, which means theoretically you could combo after it with a cameo. But outside of that, this move is also great for anti-airing and just getting away from the opponent because you leap backwards when doing it. So yeah, it's pretty much an anti-air that can also lead to full combos in many situations as long as your cameo is available. However, I imagine it's death on block, minus 28, what's the EX? Minus 14. That's pretty much safe with all this pushback. I know some characters like Sub-Zero can definitely punish it with the slide, but against most characters, that's safe with this much pushback. Believe it or not, that's it for Young Shang Tsung's special moves. As you can see, he is the zoning variation for sure. The old man form has zoning too, but the combos get way more crazy. And that's because most of these skulls can lead to a full combo in a bunch of situations. First up, we have the down skull that can be done in the air. All right, here we go. Default distance. 
is about here, about a jumping distance. There's also a far version if you hold forward. Oh, it goes behind the opponent is what it is. It's not a far distance, it's just always behind the opponent. And then we have an in front of the opponent version. Okay, that's interesting. It's not close, medium, and far. Instead, it's on the opponent, in front of them, or behind them. That's really interesting. But then what is the meter burn version like? Oh god, just three fireballs all at once. And in that situation, you want to land it from further because it'll bring them all the way to you. Actually, no, it always starts behind them. Okay, so that's really cool. And it's just one attack. Next up, we have the ground skull. So the ground skull is nuts because it has three different versions and it can combo the opponent. So here's the medium distance version, here is the close version, and then here is the really far version that hits full screen. And every single one of these can combo the opponent. Now of course the problem is I don't know any combos yet, so I don't know how to launch the opponent for the ground fireball, but that still brought them to me, so theoretically that could work. Look at that. That was a combo. Like, totally. And you can loop these fireballs up to three or four times without any meter, which is crazy. But if you do want to spin the bar, there is that option for every single distance. So if you want to catch the opponent at mid-distance and spin bar, they're brought pretty much all the way to you. I think the difference is, if you do the close version, it starts from you. Yeah. And then if you do the far version, it starts at the end of the screen and brings them to you, which is just crazy. And yes, you can loop that. You could totally loop them in that situation. Do like this, close fireball, this, close fireball, and then end with a special move of some kind. And you'd get a lot of damage for just one bar. Now, all that said, I'm curious what the very far version does when you spend bar. It seems the same as the far version. I don't see a big difference, but let me know in the comments if I'm missing something, because it's definitely time to move on. Time for Vicinity Slash. All right, so this seems very similar to the young form, but it's just one attack. What's the young version like? The damage is actually kind of similar, so the old version might be better, because the damage is barely any less, and it only hits once, which is better for combo scaling. And look at that, 10%, 11% actually, for just one button, and what's it like on block? Probably death, right? Yeah, death, but I bet it has armor. Let's see. Man, Nether Realm, please add an update to where we can map these moves on screen. I need it so desperately. Yeah, the nice thing about Shang Tsung is all of his special moves are the same inputs in both variations, but the attacks themselves change. So, injection. Down, back, three, and you could spend a bar on it. What's this move? I've never seen it. Oh, that's where, like, he stabs them. Oh, and they take damage over time for a little bit, and then he just knocks them back. And then what's the EX version like? I wish I got the EX version. For some reason, this game is just not giving me the EX. It might cost two bars, huh? You never know if it costs two bars unless you check that move list. No, just one bar. What's the difference, though? Shang Tsung deals increased damage while morphed. Oh, interesting. Am I missing something? It's just not coming out. It's supposed to only cost one bar. Let me change my meter settings, because maybe the game's just wrong and doesn't know. Yeah, it's actually two bars. The game just doesn't know. It's incorrect. For anyone not aware, the training mode information can be very uh, hit or miss, so just look out for that. This move does cost two bars of meter, but it turns you into the opponent, and now you get even more increased damage, which is kind of crazy. What's that like? Okay, so it's very similar to doing the Amplified Soul Steal, but the difference is this time you combo into it and you're left really close. What's this like on hit, for example? How plus are we? I think we're pretty darn plus, so theoretically you could end a combo with this and the opponent has to just block whatever you do next. You get guaranteed offense, so it costs two bars, which is a bit spicy, a bit costly, but in return you get frame advantage on top of the increased damage. This default morph only costs one bar, but you're not right in the opponent's face and you don't guarantee the block pressure. All in all, I'm not sure if it should cost two bars. I think one bar is fine, but maybe because it does damage too, and also likely restands the opponent. I can almost guarantee that. Yeah, it totally restands the opponent, and you get guaranteed pressure, so it might be worth the two bars. Let me know what you think in the comments, because that's actually it for the special moves, which means it's time for the fatal blow. Put myself on life support so I can do this awesome move. What's the range like? Shang Tsung is a zoner. You know, not that great, actually. It seems to only hit around jumping distance. But that being said, um, it maybe hits out of the air, which could make it worth it. Let me tell the opponent to jump, and let's see how uh, how high it hits. Oh yeah, look how high that thing hits. So it's kind of an anti-air from jumping distance, or maybe a bit closer, because it seems to travel forward. Yeah, it still hits right in front of Shang Tsung. So this move is a pseudo anti-air, which is really really cool. And of course the damage is going to be average, but still really, really good in my opinion. Pretty good fatal blow. Time for the attack strings. First up is pulse check. What's this like? Okay, knocks the opponent in the air a little bit. Can I special cancel that final hit? 
I cannot. Unfortunate, but I could combo into a cameo, and that would keep it going. Even so, I feel like it should be special cancelable. Like, why not? Why not? Next up, we have Laid Low. Okay, I want to be Laid Low if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, hits low for a mix-up at the end. I don't think you can special cancel it, but let's check. Nope, absolutely can't. Next up, we have A God's Whimsy. Pretty much the only reason you would stay in the young form for Shang Tsung. This overhead is 23 frames, which makes it reactable, but trust me, if you watch tournaments, it lands all the time, so it's gonna work on online players too. And if that wasn't crazy enough, it's also very safe on block at minus four, so it's very similar to Baraka, except you don't get a combo. Now we're finally in the young man only strings. Okay, so just like the special moves, Shang Tsung has universal attack strings that work in both forms. All right, first up we have Snake oil oh free launcher let's go is that unsafe on block minus 16 that is death on block better be careful with that one make sure to hit confirm into it or have a cameo to help you out it's pretty fast at 10 frames though great for punishing and you get a full combo launcher pretty good and then finally we have spin kick all right let's go it's three hits actually can i special cancel that final hit please tell me yes Nope, I can't, but the good news is you could cameo summon, and that would start a combo for you just fine, and you could also special cancel the first two hits maybe? Yes, you can. Awesome! Next up, we have the old form with a couple of extra strings. Look at this, the old form just has more sauce. I'm kind of jealous that the old form has more sauce because I prefer how young Shang Tsung looks, but here we go. Not a combo starter, look at that. Same input, but does not launch the opponent. Then we have Power Manifest. So unlike the young form where it's an overhead, the old form is a low, so it's literally the opposite. And with the right cameo, maybe it starts combos? Yes, it does, wow. Shang Tsung has a 50-50 all by himself. I bet when the game first came out, this was a gigantic knowledge check because the same input, but literally the opposite way to block. And then finally, we have Age Before Beauty. There's more versions of this string, so it's not dial-in. Really? No, it's not. None of it's dial-in. What the heck? Okay. Circle, square, triangle, circle. Wow. Pretty dang long string. Can you special cancel that last hit? No, you can't special cancel the final hit. Darn. Would be really cool if you could, but it seems like you can't. Even so, it does launch the opponent. So look at that. You get a combo with the right cameo. Cool stuff. And once again, you can stop at any point during this combo. So what are the first two hits like on block? Minus seven. Okay. What's the third hit like? Minus six, uh, that's minus 11. Okay, minus six for the final hit. Finally, it's time for the aerial attacks, and I'm guessing that every version can do this because the game does not specify. Really cool. So square, triangle, triangle, or triangle, triangle. That's all we get, let's see. Okay, 180, not too bad. And then we have triangle, triangle. Okay, also pretty cool. Yeah, and that's actually it. We've done everything with both versions of Shang Tsung. Does the throw animation change? That is the young version. What's the old throw like? It's the same. Okay, so not too many things change when it comes to universal abilities, but make no mistake, Shang Tsung is absolutely two different characters. Okay, so from what I can tell, the idea is to switch into old Shang Tsung mid-combo and then keep things going that way, but it's easier said than done, honestly. But keep in mind, old form Shang Tsung can do like an entire combo by himself with like the ground fireballs. It's kind of crazy. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Almost 33% and no meter required. That's why young Shang Tsung is overrated. Old form is where it's at. It's got all the combos, the aerial space control, all that stuff. I think the only reason to play Young Form is for the triple fireballs and the cool little anti-air option that he has. Both variations can zone, but Young Form is definitely the better keep away character, which is kind of odd. You would think that Old Form would be keep away and Young Form would be aggressive. Also, fun fact about old Shang Tsung, he can start the combo up close, take you full screen, and then bring you all the way back before ending the combo. It looks flashy and does some decent damage. Actually, does this work? It totally does, so that's how you would start combos, and then you would just do standing four and the far fireball. Oh my gosh, almost 37%, no meter required. This man hits hard, can zone like crazy, can get increased damage as the opponent. He's relatively safe, has some cool mix-ups hidden here and there. Yeah, Shang Tsung definitely is top 10, if not top 5 in the hands of a skilled player. But let me know your thoughts on Shang Tsung in the comments down below. I love making these videos interactive, so grab that keyboard and make your voices heard. And then while you're down there, leave a like if you enjoyed the video helps my channel out a ton and then finish that combo by subscribing and ringing that bell so you never miss any future videos make sure to come back next time and as always stay underdogs